Welcome back design students. In this video we're going to assign materials to our neon sign and export it for Unreal. But before we get started I wanted to show you something that often happens uh, when you're working with the EP curve tool. Sometimes you'll get a situation where you get a little thing like that. And you think your curve is smooth but it's actually not. When you zoom in on it you see that. Now what that is is where this point here should be down here not where it ended up. So you just have to sort of sort those out and figure out which one needs to be where. The curve will let you know, but that's how you deal with that. So here is my finished product. I'm going to go to my channel box and toggle the visibility of my reference image so you can see it. I even made a little cord here for it. Now each object here has been smoothed using Mesh Smooth with one iteration and the history has been deleted to detach it from the curve but I still have all my curves visible. I want to save those curves because I might want them later. So I'm going to go ahead and select all my curves and group them. And I'll name this group curves. And then I'm going to select the group in the outliner and hide it. Display, hide, selection. So now all of those curves are hidden and my uh, reference image is toggled. But now we need to apply materials to this, to each one of these things based on the colors from the reference image. So I'm going to unfreeze my reference image and then select it some reason I can't select it in the viewport. I'm going to select it and then I'm going to go back to the attributes editor and bring up that color gain again so I can see the colors clearly. And then I'm going to select all of my sweep objects by clicking the first one in the outliner and then holding down shift and clicking the last one. And I'm going to move it away from the reference image. Now clearly donuts is one color, the icing is another color, the donut itself is another color, and then we have all the other objects, the sprinkles are all the colors that are already here. So it looks like we need one, two, three, four material channels. So I'm going to select one of my donut objects, right click, and assign new material. Now it doesn't matter what the material is here at all. So I'm going to select Blend, and I'm going to name it Purple. And I'm going to go ahead and make it purple, and use the eyedropper to grab this color. And then I'm going to assign that material to all of my other letters that should be purple. Assign existing material, Purple. This one is pink, so I'm going to select it, assign new material. Remember, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to use a blend and name this one pink. And then try to sample that color. And then assign that material to all the pink objects. And then the next material is kind of an orange. Got to be sure to name each and every one of these materials. It's going to matter when we bring it into Unreal. This is a cyan. A 
So now as you can see, I've got a material for each of my little objects here. I decided to create a yellow for some of these sprinkles because they look a little yellow. And I created one for my cord that I named black. So now that we have that, I'm going to go back to the channel box and hide my reference image. Don't need it anymore. And then I'm going to select all of my sweep objects. And we're going to export these for Unreal. So we're going to go to File, Export Selection. Going to make sure we have FBX Export selected down here. Going to name my sign. Then over here in the options, you want to make sure that you open up the geometry section and have smoothing groups and smooth mesh selected. You want to make sure that you have embed media selected, which is under the embed media rollout. And you want to make sure that under the advanced rollout, under FBX file format, you select FBX 2016-17. And then you can click export selection and it should put it in your scenes folder of your project folder. Now once that is done I'm going to save this and close it. And when we come back we'll start up Unreal Engine and in the next video we'll render this and start to set up our scene. And I'll see you then.